Okay, so today we're going to do a craft um, for the Jesus for Jesus' first miracle when he turned water into wine at the wedding at Cana. So for this craft, you're going to need two pieces of paper, some scissors, a pencil. Um, I like to start with a pencil in case I mess up, I can erase. And then a lot of times I like to trace over my pencil with a dark colored Sharpie. And then you're going to need three crayons. If you have any variations of these colors will work. A blue one, a brown one, and a red. So for, to, to start, we're going to draw a very, we're going to freehand draw just a very simple shape of the jug, the, wa the water jugs. So again, I am not the best drawer in the world, so that's why I like to use pencils so I can erase if I mess up. And then I like to just outline in a Sharpie. If you had a brown Sharpie, that would look really nice for this craft because I, I picture the jugs to be made of clay, so they're probably brownish, reddish color. And if you want, you can take the time to go and just kind of erase those pencil marks. Now in the middle of the jug, we are going to draw a square freehand again. Or you could take like a box if you really wanted to be exact. Your box of crayons and trace around. I think I'll do that. up and erase that one and again you can take your sharpie and trace if you would like um, but for the sake of time I'm not gonna do that but I'm gonna cut out the jug now Okay, now we're going to cut that square out in the middle of the jug. And the easiest way to do that is to fold the jug like this. My jug is not a perfectly form. This should, I think this will work though. Um, and then now that I've folded it, I'm going to cut the square out. So when you open up your jug, when you open up the jug, it should look something like this. Okay, so there's our jug. Now our, with your second piece of paper, I am going to fold it up like this, not all the way in half, but you want it to be at least big enough to cover the to cover the hole in the jug when you put it behind it. All right, and so now I've just kind of folded this. This was a longer piece of drawing paper. I think it's a little longer than a piece of computer printer paper. Um, and then now I have this object and it's going to go, we're gonna draw a line down the middle I'm just kind of like eyeballing it. You could measure if you want. Now, I'm gonna color one side of the jug. The right side, I'm gonna color that in blue. And you can definitely take your time with the coloring. I'm just kind of going fast. I'm going to color that in. Okay. Now you can definitely do your coloring as exact as you like it. And then I'm going to color the uh, left side red. Try not to color on my countertop.
Then um, go ahead and take some time to color your jug brown. I'm going kind of fast, but if I were taking my time and wanted it to be perfect, I would go slower. Kind of a messy color, but you get the idea. Okay, and now we have the the jug, and we are gonna all we're gonna do is hold up the jug like this with the piece of paper behind it, the, the rectangle, and then we can kind of show how Jesus turned the water in the jugs to wine and we just slide it over like that. Um, if we if we had if we were all sitting together in Sunday school we probably could have I probably could have given you some special little paper fasteners to make this um, all stick together but since we are on zoom we're just kind of using what we have and we can just kind of move it back and forth like that. Alright so that's our um, Jesus' first miracle craft.